Hey guys, welcome to Safi Mixed. In this video, I will let you know how to create grid of different plots. Gridding plot is a good way of visualizing variation of certain function over different variable. So here you will learn how to grid your plots and we use. To begin with, I first import data by pressing Ctrl I or coming to data tab and then clicking the import button and I browse my data. So here is my data at uh, table 3. I import this and uh, I click the import button and you see the data contains three uh, columns, column 1, column 2 and column 3. In fact, column 1 is the values of a parameter and column 2 and column 3 are the value of two different functions. So I would like to plot uh, column 2 against column 1 as one figure and column 3 against column 1 as two figure. So I close this. So I come over here and I add the XY plot and in the first XY plot I come to the properties window and in the x data i feed column one and in y data i feed column three so the the, the data in column three is now plotted against the data in column one and that's the behavior of the function now i add another page over here and then i add a base graph and on the base graph I add the XY plot so this would be my second XY plot keep in mind that I'm plotting the two on two different pages the first is on page one and the second is on page two now again I repeat the same procedure in the properties window I feed column one is the X data and in the y data i feed column two bit so this is the behavior of the second function against the data in column one so if you look uh, in the first xy plot i have this behavior and in the second xy plot i have this behavior now i add another page at this position and uh, then i add a grid over here when I add the grid, property windows has the property of grid. If you look at this number of rows, two, number of columns, two, you can change these numbers as per your own desire. And similarly, there are a row scaling and column scaling. I will let you know about these two properties shortly. And then uh, we have uh, under the formatting window uh, for the grid in the formatting window, uh, contains option like left margin, right margin, top margin and uh, there are other margins like bottom margin and internal margin. I will let you know about the use of these margins shortly once I produce the grid of plots. So I then come to the first graph by highlighting the first graph clicking this is important you should know this I'm highlighting graph 1 and I press Control C on my keyboard to copy this plot and then uh, come back to grid and here I paste the copied figure by pressing Control V on my uh, keyboard and hence the first plot is now pasted here on the grid page. Then I select uh, graph on page 2. I select this. This is page 2 and I again press Ctrl C on my keyboard to copy this plot and then I come back to grid and I again press Ctrl V on my keyboard to pass that figure as well. Now you see the two figures are uh, placed side by side and this is one row in two columns. Now if I have other plots uh, I can put them here on the grid page but since only I have two plots I want to create another row from these two plots and uh, to do that I uh, want to put the second figure as first in the second row and the first figure as second in the second row so I just 
once again press ctrl v to put the third figure and you see now this is uh, the uh, the same figure like at this position but i want to create the grid of uh, four figures then i come back here to uh, copy graph one and uh, i come to grid back and just press ctrl v on my keyboard to pass this figure so now i have um, four figures two rows and two columns on the grid page if i click the grid uh, i can change the scaling for example if i want to scale the first row, if i want to scale first row uh, i can put the number two over here and if i do it you see now uh, the sizes or the height of the uh, figures in the first row is changed and similarly if i want to change the scaling of the column i put a two over here and i just press enter and you see now the scaling to the column is also applied however i just want to place them on this uh, default one in removing these numbers and bring it to back over here now let's come to the format window and i want to change these margins uh and the scales so i change the f the left margin from 1.7 to 0. 8 and you will see that this margin is shifted to over here i can further reduce this margin if i want and similarly i can change the right margin the left margin and so on you can change these numbers you can change the, so the bottom is a little bigger so i want to take this one to 0 0.8 as well and if i do that the bottom margin is reduced you can change the uh, the internal margin for example if i want to increase this from 0 to 0 0.5 it will go like this and uh, you can uh, reduce the internal margin uh, i i put this back to zero first and if i want to completely remove the spaces between the uh, figures in the vertical space and the horizontal space i can do that by pressing the zero margins this button if i click this all the plots will be merged to each other but you see now the scales of the figure with the second columns are removed and similarly the x-axis scales from the first row is removed now if you are interested to bring the corresponding scales back to each figure you can do that by coming to the corresponding page for example if i come to graph 2 uh, and now this second plot is selected and i want to bring the horizontal and vertical scales of this plot back what i do i just come over here and i set the left margin to reset to default so you see when i reset it to default the scale is uh, shown the vertical scale and similarly if i set the bottom to uh, reset to default it will bring the bottom scale back so this way you can come back to the scales of the figures you can do this procedure with every figure and if you want to go back to that values just set this uh, margin to zero and uh, then this margin to zero and you are back on the zero margin position so this way you can grade different figures in views thanks for watching